Today I have two letters, presumably from a letter writing curriculum in sixth grade. At the top of the letter is my name, address, and just my name and address. <laughs> Dear Ray Mysterio Jr., my name is Kyle. I am a big fan of yours. It's amazing how you do all those high-flying moves. I have one question that keeps banging in my head. Is it easier to wrestle with a mask or without one? Next paragraph. Anyway, my sixth grade class has an auction called a Sea Dollar Auction. We earn fake money and bid on different items at the end of the year. I don't remember this. I was wondering if you had a retired mask that you could send to the return address by June 1st, 2003. If you can't, that's okay. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> One last question. Are you going to do any house shows in Connecticut soon? If you, if you can't respond, that's also okay. I'm just glad I got through to you. Sincerely, Kyle Kukta. P.S. Congratulations on your tag team titles with Edge. So, never got the mask. I'm not sure if I ever mailed this. Uh, probably not. And the auction, I guess, went off without a hitch. I don't know. I don't remember. All right. Oh, so this, this, the return address in the previous one was my own address. This one is East Lime Middle School. <laughs> Two, Ben and Jerry's Homemade Holdings in South Burlington, Vermont. To whom it may concern, did you know that four out of five companies do not use natural products in their ice cream? Not five. Do you know the company that does? Oh, does, yeah, the company that uses natural products, I'm guessing. Do you know the company that does? Ben and Jerry's, period. <laughs> the person you're writing to? The people. <laughs> yes. You probably would know that. They would know. They know that they are them. I hope so. Uh, I'm very happy that B and J's, which they probably don't call it that, uses all natural products in their ice cream. We do not have to worry about dioxin in your packaging. I'm also glad that you respect the environment and how to keep it safe. That's always a good thing too because the environment affects us in different ways. It's a weird one. That's always a good thing too because, comma, the environment affects us in different ways. Next paragraph. Tell you the truth, comma, I made my own ice cream, comma, too. Drum roll, please. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 B's as the drum roll. My ice cream is called Chocolate Raisin Crunch. Gross. Very creative, huh? Was I being a dick to myself and that would be really rude? I hope so. Uh, I have a list of ingredients that I would like to share with you. I used one quarter a cup of whipping cream, a quarter cup of milk, an eighth teaspoon of vanilla, an eighth cup of sugar, four cups of ice, and one cup of rock salt. Did you chop it for reasons of that? He came out better than I expected. He? I did. That's a pronoun. That's, that is a pronoun. And now, life is about to get a little bit more interesting. I didn't expect it to be creamy, chocolatey, melting in your mouth taste. I didn't expect it to be creamy, chocolatey, melting in your mouth taste. It was neither too crunchy nor too milky. If, if I can quote Goldilocks, it was just right. Thank you for your time. Kyle cooked it. Period. At the end of my name. 
So, uh, as my wife pointed out, there are no raisins or chocolate in that recipe. Um, but Chocolate Raisin Crunch, a very creative name, was sent to market, and I guess they just, they didn't make it. <laughs> Another one from Language Arts, from Kyle Kukta. <laughs> 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 